Hey, and Sue back again. Woof, woof, woof. Um, woof, woof, woof. Okay, I got a Dollar Tree haul, Saturday Dollar Tree haul, and I got some things to check out. So here we go. The cans, I'm sure you all been seeing them. Uh, I got one, but I do make the candy, and I was thinking that for that, that would be pretty, you could see them through it, because they were, they're the candy canes with the vanilla or the chocolate inside, and I did think that the fact of, see, it's snowflakes, it doesn't say Merry Christmas or anything, because I saw the other ones, and I actually wanted one the snowflakes or something, because still, even though most of the time you see them, that's what you think, Christmas, but still... This doesn't say Merry Christmas or anything, so it is a winter theme together all together. Okay. You need smell here. Okay, um uh, this says peppered plum. It doesn't smell too bad. It is a new one, at least for me, because I haven't seen these, but I usually always just grab the amazing yard ones. So is that and they had different scents. But I just grabbed this one, and this one is Pepper Plum. Did you? And see, this will look like inside. The hubby been saying that lately the ones, the jar ones, are just burning straight down through and leaving the stuff on the side. We haven't been getting good jar ones from the Dollar Tree because it don't burn even down. It turns right down by the flame. That's it, so. I saw that, and I didn't see this before. It does look smaller than them, but I did not see this before. That's what the lid looks like if you're looking for them. So, I figured I can give that a shot. Okay, I did haul something like this before. I have it in my car. I love it for work. It's a twisty and I'll pull. And not sure if this is going to be another one for me or a Christmas gift. Because I love it. Uh, but again, I was thinking with the designs there and the snowflakes, it is not saying Merry Christmas, even though when you look at it, you're probably thinking that. So it's going on that note. The smellies. These smell good. I, mean, I love these. Did you really say that? Oh, the luggage, I think he said this time. But put them somewhere, and we did realize that you could open these out of the bag, and there's a little like white bag in there, and that will help the scent a lot better. But I have a peppermint one and a pine, and there you go, smelling good. Soap, I said every time I go, I usually use a bath for for me and use soap, soap. So every time I go. I, so I have it stocked up in there. And this is honeysuckle and green tea. Pure vegetable soap. So, do we have a lot of soap? Okay. Now, these are Boston baked beans, okay? And they are candy coated peanuts. And my theory for them, if I get a chance to do it, is I have a candy mold for lollipops, and it's Rudolph. And what I was thinking, with the chocolate, I have candy eyes, and I have the chocolate, so maybe I might do these even tonight. And make it Rudolph, because it's a reindeer. So, I do a home for something red, and the hubby said he remembers when he was... Kid, he used to eat them. Used to buy a lot of that. Okay, some staples going on here. I'm fine with these again, just like I basically am with the Dodger Toilet Paper. Fine with these. This one is 14 instead of 12. This is there. And it smells like spring. And yeah. I'm fine with these instead of, because I have got the Glad already. And at the Dollar Tree, so it's five for a buck. But I'm just as fine with these. And with that, I did see that they have Scott toilet paper at the Dollar Tree and a four pack. Okay? 
But when you start looking at, number one, you can see that the Dollar Tree four-pack is bigger. And number two, if you actually, and I didn't write down the rolls, but I, uh, the count, but I did check the count compared to Scott, and there was more in the Dollar Tree roll. So, I uh, was going to grab that just to show you, but I thought I didn't grab it to grab. So, um, find the Dollar Tree, but they do, if you were like a Scott brand, and instead of the single roll, because I think we we're seeing the single roll now, they have big one like the single roll, it's a four pack roll, like the Dollar Tree ones. But the Scott does have the four pack at the Dollar Tree if you're a Scott brand person. Okay. To do. I had a round one like this. I think I had a long one like this too. But uh, between my medicine and I take a lot of supplements for the heart, for the eyes, and stuff like that, I need something that has a big container and I need to, like, when I'm done here, fill this up for the week. Because the issue is one of mine is forgetfulness and the man will say you're taking medicine today and I don't remember. So if it's out of here and I remember to fill the each side, that's it. Usually the first week I'm good after that. But we'll see how it goes. So and for buck and it says pillbox. So do do do. So I said I said I finally had to get some more envelopes of I don't know if it was goodwill or these joy tail or whatever. He had seen a whole bunch and got me a sack, and they were white ones, but they were big like this. And when I was getting these, he said, we don't need them, we got a ton of white men. I said, I went through them, honey child. I went through them. I said, so, at least need to get one pack. I've been doing a lot of crafts and pocket letters and stuff like that. I haven't seen the comeback as good, and I guess maybe I should be getting a of people. But if I got to do all that... To get a pocket letter back for me. So I am thinking, see how it goes the beginning of the year. But uh, I go in spurts, and there's one of that spurts. That spurts starting to run out on me. So I'll see. Okay, these are boot bags, and they actually have the zippy here. And they're 30 in here. And I did these with my other candy canes because the miniature candy canes there is 15 in each box so that makes 30 and i was putting one in each one because it's pretty good size and uh i was working did stuff so that is what i'm gonna do with that or even if i make other candy because that's a good deal and had a little zippy on it this side is this is the zippy so help keep it fresh and that if you make cookies or whatever and tape runners hadn't been real impressed by these in the dog tray but they were mm -hmm. and that is one thing that I craft they definitely need a lot more tape or glue or something and I'm trying to find a nice thing and that is that you're not seeing the glue through things but still, like I said, probably going to have to spend money for a more expensive glue runner or whatever. Because that ain't that. But. Okay. I don't know if I ever tried these before. I tried the different wipes of Fabulosa wipes and, and, and stuff like that for your counter or whatever. And there's actually. What is 26 and it's saying there's 30. And it does say here for all surfaces, granite, tile, wood, stainless steel, glass. And I actually use that kind of thing for like dusting and stuff. Do, 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 do. So, so they're, they're wet and I like the purpose of it. So I saw these and I was actually looking for the fabulous ones and I didn't see them. But I saw these. So I grabbed a pack of them for that. Okay. Believe in magic. Leave the magic of Christmas, and it is for a wine bottle or anything else. And my sister in law has been telling me the last couple of years that she wants to make a bottle of eggnog. And so, hopefully, I remember and get it this year because I actually did get the bag pretty good. 
so. And I thought, so maybe if I have that, that will help me remember that. Okay. So, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, just a little bit left. Uh, I saw these and I thought they were cute. Lump of coal. And they are chocolate fudge cookies. And I thought that'd be cute to put in, like, a, a Christmas basket or anything like that or a Christmas gift. Cute. So, I've got one of them because you know that if you want any of them, the hot cocoa, the anything like that, even single facts for a book, which is a real great deal, but it's cute because they're decorated like that and stuff. Uh get out there and get them now if you didn't already because it's because you know you ain't gonna see them sitting around by the by by the end of this week because you're going to do that last week before Christmas. Okay. This cup? This this cup? This cup? I don't know. My man my man loves them we sold them there and I got him about three packs. I already kept one pack in here. I actually two or three stores here? I actually think two or three stores here, okay? Uh, I've been really good on not getting to get, but checking out the new things. So, yes. So, we got the man. I want to put them on top of the peppermint thing, because that's so good. Okay. These, again. And these are the cherry-flavored ones. The one lady works in for that when I took the head of his work, she said, oh, they're cherry-flavored. Can't change they're good. I said, they were. I thought they were peppermint. But it does actually say right here. Wait, hold on. Let's see on that. Cherry. And there's 30 in there. 30, 30. Yeah, it was actually that 30. Yeah, you got to. Do half half full six there, yes, yeah. And you use this so it's just thirty. Okay. Okay. And to do okay. I saw somebody else holler there holler over this. Hold this. And uh it does look here like it's four high heels, okay. Is that what I'm looking at? No, I'll be over my finger is. Give a finger out of my hat here. Right. But it is gel active gel heel cushion. And it says invisible. I don't see how to be invisible on top of that one if you if you're not back to it. But uh anyway. Sometimes at work I have issues with the heel and stuff, so I don't know if they'd be good in a sneaker or not. But there's one pair in here, so there's one for each, so I figured that I would give that a shot. Let you know how that works out. Okay, now just rum roll. Rum roll. <laughs> These I saw at the Effort of Store from about a week ago, because I did uh, go to two and Lancaster today, and I did not see them. I do think with the holiday and stuff. All the ones that I've been going to, so I don't name any per in particular. Really been trying to get everything out and you're not seeing everything because of that because this was sort of like took back in the shelf and they were like all on top of each other so you're only seeing the top one and the top one only had a couple. So if it would have been empty you wouldn't even knew it was there. But emoji lip gloss. Or lip balm, it says. Okay. And that's what that one looks like. And that one is a French vanilla lip balm. This is an across one. And this one is saying a coconut cream lip balm. So that really cute. They had a couple others. They have ones that had a the smiley face like this, but it had a rainbow for the tongue. I I know that there was at least a cherry flavor too. I don't know if there's more flavors, but I remember there was coconut. Uh the vanilla did we say here? Do, 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 do. 
coconut, French vanilla, and cherry. I'm not sure if I'm that. But they were really cute for uh, stocking stuffers. And I just hey, hi, go to bed now. I thought that that would they were that the, the, they were really adorable. And like I said, stock and stuffers, put in your pocketbook to have them have them quick. So I think I have something hiding around here. I don't want to actually. I have got mail. And I'm a sinner, folks. I'm telling you, I'm a sinner. Because of the fact that this one here actually says, and I'm putting it off the back and, and forgot about it. But this is from Burning Sand Explosions. And it's what ladies is up on YouTube. And actually, it came October 24th. That's what I said. I don't know. But I said, I did want to show you the great postcards that they sent me and she did come in it did come in the yellow envelope so they both came in hi from nevada and i go to las vegas about once a year this year coming up be my seventh year it'll probably be february instead of january it's usually january but uh yeah just thought i'd drop you a line to say hi and that i enjoy your channel I got some good ideas from watching your crafting. And it said Best Wishes. And it says Cindy's Blogs and Burning Sand. So Cindy's Blogs, too. So, I'm sorry I didn't forget about you all together. I've been. But I, thank you very much. I do love Happy Mail. People are going to be sending me stuff if I take that long to. But, uh, <laughs> yes, thank you very much. And here's another one. I appreciate what you do. Do on your YouTube channel. I never seen a pocket letter before, and I have to try doing that. And again, this is Cindy's blogs, and then she has burning sand explosions. So there's you might want to check here. Oh, they are very cute, and that's from Nevada. So I will try to get a Christmas card or something out of your base. But I did get that. I want you to know, and thank you very much and okay I'm trying to that isn't what I was looking for I did get a Christmas card from Mary Christopherson and I thought it was just under here and it is not wait 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 I might found it yes I did to thank you, Mary Christopherson. May the peace of the season be yours. And have a wonderful Christmas. Thanks for getting nice getting to know you on YouTube. That or help you love off this the week of Christmas so you'll have some time with the family. So thank you very much. And yes, I will try to get one off to both of you. And I do put my address in my description box if anybody wants to send me a Christmas card. Send me happy mail. Love happy mail. Try to get back to it a lot better than I did that one. <laughs> and okay, I'm just gonna say bye for now, but I wanted to give you a haul and I hope you're all having a Merry Christmas season. And hope to see you soon. Please subscribe. Comment. Hit that like button. Like button. And share. Share this and let people know what I got in the Dollar Tree. And let people know about it. So, thank you.